Hi, Gary Allen Barker of Headphone.Guru here. Today we are going to look at the FIO FH7S IEMs. One step down from the top of their hybrid line of IEMs, the FH7S has one 13.6 millimeter dynamic driver employing a diamond-like carbon diaphragm and four Knowles balanced armature drivers, including DFK mid-range drivers, which consists of two balanced armatures joined together in a resonance canceling configuration. The FH7S housing utilize FIO's second gen semi-open design with a sci-fi armor look, featuring FIO's patented S-Turbo acoustic design to precisely control bass, and a unique acoustic notch filter to reduce unwanted sibilance. Their MMCX cable is composed of 152 individual silver-plated monocrystalline copper wires, forming eight strands braided together and terminated with FIO's twist lock swappable audio connectors. As part of FIO's self-tuning kit, the FH7 comes with three sets of tuning filters and a host of differently tuned tips, including the, the introduction of their HS18 ear tips, which are only 0.4 millimeters thick for added comfort and better seal. I'm going to start with an unboxing because FIO's packaging deserves it. Though I will note, I have already done this once in order to do my listening tests. Okay, here we have the FIO FH7S in its box. We take the outside sleeve off and we open this up, take out the manual, then we find we have the IMs and the case. So we want to pull the case out. Inside the case you'll find the other uh, connector here. In this case the 3.5 because I put the 4.4 on, on it already. Um, these are the HS18 tips and the spin fit tips. Also have the uh, MMCX removing tool and a magnetic clasp. Pull this out. Of course, here we have the rest of our IEMs. the 4.4 connector and we pull this out we have our extra filters this will be the high and the low frequency as the mid is already on there and then we have this nice box here if I can open it of extra tips and of course in the different configurations I don't think you can see the printing here but these are the balanced these are the memory foam these are the by flange these are the vo vocal and these are the bass for my listening tests I used my FIO M11 DAP with via the 4.4 millimeter TRRRS balanced output the pre-installed balanced filters, and the HS18 ear tips. Having seen Danny Elfman perform at the Hollywood Bowl the night before, I selected his Big Mess album on Kobez, which features 
a string section, a choral section, and taiko drums, along with the usual guitars, bass, synthesizer, drums, and vocals, making it a great test album. As advertised, the HS18 ear tips achieved a solid seal easily, and the tonal balance was warm with a slight emphasis to a smooth musical mid-range and a solid bottom end. The soundstage was more studio than live, but with good space and dynamics. The strings were full and rich, and the percussion was snappy with impact. All in all, a great effort by FIO, and well worth the $399 price tag. And with all the tuning options, the FH7S should be able to satisfy anyone's needs or preferences. Stay tuned to headphone.guru for my more in-depth written review coming at a later date. Remember to like and subscribe to see future headphone.guru videos.